Samantha, and today we're going to go into the new Joanne. So we're outside of the new Joann's. If you remember from my previous videos, I have two Joann's nearby me and they both closed down and merged together. So I have not been inside, I don't know anything. So come on, let's go inside for the first time. So the first thing I noticed is there's a new shopping carts. Look at that fly. I wish I had a beverage because there's a beverage holder. So I plan to film a lot more inside, however, I was just so overwhelmed and so in shock. I I think it's because I went into the store with such low expectations. I knew the two stores near me were closing down and merging together. However, I did not know that there was going to be any improvements or any updates. And the new Joann's is like on a whole nother level. It's almost like a store and a library combined. What I mean by this is that throughout the store, there are stations of tables where you could literally go in on a Friday afternoon and do a project. You could meet up with someone and work on a project, or you could just sit there and do a project by yourself. And um, they want you to do that. They want you to hang out. You can rent a, a long arm, which is a quilting machine. You can rent a glow forge. You can rent sewing machines. It's just like so collaborative and so inviting. Right now, organization is very a very hot topic. And so I feel like they took this to heart with like the knitting wall. It's not just a picture of, you know, the rainbow. It is actual yarn on the wall that you could purchase. And I don't know how you'd get the ones higher up, but it's just so cool looking. And the fact that they took all these things into an account and it just looks so awesome. And the fabric, there is another store nearby me that they have a lot of fabric. The store that I had nearby me did not have very much fabric. And then the other one was very claustrophobic. So this one, the fabric is on um, shelves that are built for fabric. The other one nearby me that had a lot of fabric were on bookcases. And there had been times when I pulled off a piece of fabric or a bolt of fabric and the bookcase literally fell apart and like stuff dropped on the ground. And it was not very cool. So... I was just blown away. Anyways, so two thumbs up and let's get into the haul. Piggybacking on my last video and everything I learned at the uh, craft event um, is how I went about choosing these different fabrics and what I had in mind. So um, like three of, the, uh, three of the products that I wanted to get at the store was um, different colored terry cloths. These are for my uh, soap pouches. Um, right now I only have white and I really wanted to get all the different colors that they have and I only needed, like I did all the measurements on my <laughs> crazy piece of paper here of, um, like what cuts I needed and, um, I looked online and like knew that they were on sale and then when I get there I realized that it's an online only sale so yeah I didn't get any very frustrating but anyways so the next thing I got is a lot of different flannels and this is for my reusable paper towels this product got a lot of great feedback and I made some sales however I lost a lot of sales because I did not have uh, more neutral um, and not um, seasonal fabrics um, so people didn't really like that. However, that's fine because I got that feedback and I gave out the dates that I'll be back in November and December and my website if they want to order. So I got a ton of different neutral cuts. And because I knew exactly what size I needed, I was much better prepared to be able to get a bunch of different styles and I could get one or two sets worth. So these aren't gonna make like 10 matching sets. Uh, most of these, they can make one or maybe two sets, and that's fine because I want to be able to have a lot of variety of pattern, not of product. And then um, the last thing that I was going to get was um, blue and gray fabric for uh, neutral placemats. However, um, I didn't end up getting this um, this time, but I will get it next time. So with that being said, let me show you what I got. First up is this, so these are all cotton flannel, is this moon flannel. 
And guess what? This glows in the dark. I do not know how much it glows in the dark. I haven't tested it out yet. However, I think that is so cool. Look, it even tells you right here, glow in the dark. I think that's so freaking cool. All right, next up, these are like my environmental ones. I am wondering if this one is going to be popular or not. Okay, do you see how it kind of looks dirty? It's not dirty. Like that, I don't know if it'll focus, but the pattern itself has like speckles on the white. But it says things like ban on poaching. Uh, I can't even read the whole thing. Put a ban on poaching. Stop ivory trade. Skip the straw. Save our seas. There's no planet B. We've got only one. Treat her right. Protect the rainforest. Save the orangutans. So like this is perfect for uh, limiting your use of paper towels. So I don't know. We'll see. And then this is the same concept. This one says... Um, both of these, I only got enough to make one set. Uh, this one says, give bees a chance, eco-warrior, uh, earth sweet earth, take me to the trees, save our home, that sort of stuff. So, very appropriate for uh, reusable paper towels. Next up is this very neutral blue plaid and this flower one. So, both of these are um super wide so these are 108 inches i believe so that means that the cut will be like this and i needed way less fabric of these um a smaller portion to make it and i just think that's so cool i'm wondering uh if the end product's going to be any different next one up is i have these like fun little clouds they're so happy so when I was um, searching for all these fabrics, I was searching for neutrals. And the first thing I did is I looked at the bolts. So three wraparounds means one yard. At Joann's, if you get less than a yard, then it's counted as a remnant. Remnant is 50% off. And if you see my remnant Ceridian series, I'm all about remnants. So with that being said, all of these, I went and I looked through the flannel section and I looked at ones that had less than three loops. And so um, like if this... I don't have the receipt right here, but let's say this was one and a half yards. That means that I paid full price for one yard and then the half yard was 50% off, but also all of these were on sale. So that's a second discount on top. And I had two different coupons. So you got to do all the math of all the things. Um, so neutrals. And then um, if you remember from my last video, there was a woman who did uh, boxes gift boxes and when I asked them what their most popular fabric was they said things with cats so then I saw this and I thought why not let me try it out again it counted in the on sale and uh almost gone it says uh perfect Christmas and Maui Christmas so we'll see if this is popular or not if not I don't know not a big deal this one is a nice neutral Another nice neutral. This one's more masculine, I would say. I really like this one. I think it's so cool. And um, the reason I did not get any solids, like I didn't get any solid blue. If you got a solid blue and you were to use it to wipe something up, it's going to get really dirty. And um, it's not going to look keep looking nice as long. So that's why you want something with... You don't want something like overly busy, but if you have something with a pattern, the stain will get lost in the pattern. And it'll make the product last longer. This... So these were on two different bolts, and I got the end of both of the bolts. And then this one is slightly different. If I held them both up, you could tell the difference. And then the last two things I got. So these were all for uh, reusable paper towels. So that means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 new styles, which is great. That's a great amount of variety. And that means I have at least 11 sets here. The next thing I got was this. Oh, I cannot remember what this product was called. I, I don't have the receipt. Uh, I don't, I don't know where the receipt is, but, um, the amount, so these were like, $2.99 a yard or something something super cheap but I've never worked with this material it's kind of stretchy but again because I knew my measurements I went on YouTube and saw uh, my scrunchie video so if you can see this has a very wide cut so how much I got here 
I got like not very much. I got nine inches and um, so I'm gonna get four scrunchies out of each one of these and this cost me I think it was like 39 cents or something. I'll put it up on the screen if I have the receipt but like I got such a little amount that like each scrunchie is like five cents or something crazy. So I had um, Christmas in mind because the November and December shows are both labeled as Christmas. So this will make a nice scrunchie. And then I have more of a burgundy and then more of a red. You could tell when they're both next to each other. So I got these um, testing out a new type of fabric. I've never worked with this fabric and it was so cheap and I got enough just to make four scrunchies. Um, I'm working right now on getting all of my different templates and um, products that I like making into one condensed place so I know when I go that I can get things cut correctly because it's really frustrating if I got like a half yard of something but I actually need three-fourths of a yard because I don't like piecing pieces together. Um, this fun Thanksgiving pattern was in the remnants so I got a yard here um, and they're half off so it's five dollars. And then I'm really excited about these. So this is clear vinyl and you can make really cool pouches with these. And I've never worked with this before. Um, and I was really excited to be able to find it in the remnants because remnants are 50% off. So uh, like these are both half yard. So this one, it was $2.35, half of that. So like $1.50 or cheaper than that. And then this guy was $3.99, again, for a half yard. And so that's only like $2. So for less than five dollars i get to try out a bunch of new products uh projects um and i think it'll be really cool this isn't going to be perfect because when i read reviews on vinyl people get really mad when it gets rolled up like this because if you were working on a big product project then um you wouldn't want to dent halfway through however i'm just going to look work on little project pouches that are clear and have like a fabric bottom so i think this will be perfect just to try it out and see if i like it and then i can always go get more but um, I like spending less on something when it's my test trial. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around and watching today's video. I appreciate every like and comment. So please go ahead and let me know what you think of the video down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, goodbye.